Last week, Matt wrote in, Chinese film, man on a train running through a futuristic city. His name was Milo. Uh, there was a scene where the detective and his partner wanted a small-time criminal to give them some vital information, but he wouldn't. And rather than threaten him, they sat him down at a street cafe with him handcuffed and started eating. And then a passerby who's involved with a criminal doesn't recognise the detective, comes up to the table, starts talking about some shady money that he owed them. Yes. And then this keeps on happening. He gets very distressed. Yeah. He agrees so somebody must equation. have got this because there's so much specific... I mean, I didn't get it, but there's so much specific information in there. Please well, tell me that somebody did. Yes, the YouTube WTF. Chairborn Squadron have been on the case. Um, Chairborn Squadron. The Chairborn That's Squadron, which is, it is very good. That's very good. Red Swipe says, One night in Mong Kok was set in Hong Kong, which looks pretty futuristic at times, and had a cop called Milo and a flashback scene, but I can't recall a train or any of the other stuff. OK. John Mark Dean, honestly, I think this guy has mashed up 2046 and One Night in okay. Mong Kok. I, I said 2046, didn't I? That yes. was the thing I said, and then and then it was like, no, but there's I don't remember all that other stuff, but I said 2046. Fungi 001, I just watched One Night in Mong Kok. This is a bit of Hong Kong nihilism, because I checked. There is no voiceover, no... <laughs> No train, no futuristic city, but it does have everything else. A flashback, a cop called Milo, right. and a scene with a handcuffed criminal at a cafe. So he's like, definitely... So in that case, film. it is that, but he has indeed mashed it up with 2046. So I'm going to take half a point. Simon Paul, half a point. Half a point. Uh, Matt, now you know what to do. Get watching One Night in Mong Kok and 2046 and let us know if if it is a, a, a mashup. So here's a new one. OK. Ian Meek from Sunny Shrewsbury. Yep. Please help. I think I'm going mad. OK. Or I dreamt up. A great movie idea. OK. Anyway, the movie title I'm after, I think it's set in South America or maybe Iceland. No, I, I, I dropped that. <laughs> it's definitely South America. Okay. I must have watched this film about 15 years ago. It's about a poor family that live in the favelas. I'm guessing it's Brazil. Right. The father of the poor family wins an expensive sports car. However, he cannot sell the car but also can't afford to run it. And as time goes by, the car causes him nothing but trouble as the locals are very jealous of him. It's a black comedy, I think and have tried many times to find this film, but to no avail. So it's, that is very, very specific. Probably the favelas, the sports car, won by this poor guy, and he can't use it. I mean, it's not City of God. Um... You can always drop us a line and tell us what it's not. Yeah. Um, or, you can, or you can WhatsApp us now. Yes, 08085999. Uh, so, so, the, so the deal is, so he's got a sports car, but he can't use it. Yes, that's right. He's in, got a sports car and, he and can't, he's going to use it. He, yeah, that's well that's done. The, that's that's a one. good fuzzbox joke that you, me and one other person in the world got. So, a new one, Mark. OK. OK. okay. Your reputation right. is not on the line. Is, is it 2046? Al Jawad says, Good day, gentlemen. Long time listener and fan. That's been crossed out. First time emailer. OK. I wonder if you can help me identify this film, which I've been remembering a lot lately. It's European, French, German, Italian or other which I remember watching about 20 years ago in some art house cinema. It's always an art house cinema. Can't recall where exactly, as I was a frequent traveller in those days. The plot involves a small family, the parents and two teenage children. At least one of them is a boy. The boy dies, and a while later, the grieving family finds out he was corresponding with a girl. Later, the girl visits the family, and at the end of the film, the whole family chooses to drive the girl back to the, her town. Two scenes that I recall... The first involves the boy's coffin welded shut after the funeral. The other is at the very end, obviously these are spoilers, when the dead boy's brother, or possibly sister, wakes up in the car and says, where are we? Or it could have been, where do we go now? Anyway, any help you may be able to provide in identifying this film would be highly appreciated. It doesn't sound like a laugh a minute, I must say. But there no, you it, it rings a... Well, how, when did they say they saw it? 20 years ago, in an art house. No, in that case, it's not what I was thinking. I was thinking of those kind of teen movies from about five, ten years ago. So, I don't... Over, yep. to, over to the audience. Is over to saying. the audience is what I'm saying. Well done. Text, yes. email, WhatsApp, whatever means of communication you fancy.